new tonight. Two new studies are shedding light on how the virus may be spreading, mutating, and adapting over time. CBS 13's Adrian Moore is live with what this new research could mean, Adrian, in the race for a vaccine. Yeah, Tony and Elizabeth, these studies have yet to be peer reviewed, but researchers are calling the concern over these new findings urgent, considering there are now more than 100 vaccines being developed right now. We like to say that we embrace mutations versus fear them because the collection of them end up becoming this very powerful tool for us that reveals a lot of hidden information. Some of that hidden information being revealed in Arizona, where scientists have discovered COVID-19 may be getting weaker. A mutation has been identified, similar to the one in the SARS outbreak back in 2003, which could cause less severe symptoms. What we know about coronavirus so far is that even though it's already exhibiting some change, that changes at about half the rate that we would expect for flu. Another study by researchers at the Los Alamos National Laboratory shows the coronavirus that emerged from Wuhan, China, has mutated into a new dominant strain that appears to be even more contagious. And if it doesn't subside in the summer months, like the flu, it could limit how effective a potential vaccine could be. So far, 14 mutations have been found. As scientists say these two studies make it abundantly clear much more research still needs to be done on this virus.